everyone, it's Jenna here from Nature MV. I am here with a very special guest. He's right in this container. I'm gonna tell you all about him. He is a monarch butterfly caterpillar. He is currently too small for you to even see in this view. So I am gonna insert some more close-up footage of what he looks like right now, but he is about the size of an uncooked grain of rice. So think before you even cook it, how little teeny tiny it is. You can barely even perceive it, but he is in there. Now you might wonder, why am I growing a monarch caterpillar in this old Tupperware container? That's because the monarch butterfly is back really early this year. We don't really know why. There could be a multitude of reasons to do with this year's really warm spring. Could have to do with agricultural practices in the Southern United States. It could have to do with changes in Mexico and their overwintering grounds. We're really not sure why they're back early this year, but what we do know is that they are here. It is mid-June and we've already begun surveying, finding lots of eggs. A few weeks ago, our summer students found 102 eggs in one survey. So the monarch butterfly is definitely back in New Brunswick and we need to be ready to take care of them. Because they are so early, even some of our most well-meaning members and supporters mowed. <laughs> they mowed over some of their milkweed, which usually we would ask them not to mow if it were a little bit later in the summer because it's so early, nobody was expecting eggs to be here. So this caterpillar did hatch from an egg that I did take from an area um, where a bunch of milkweed had already been removed. So it was on one of the plants that had been removed. So this little guy wasn't really gonna stand a super good chance out in the wild. So what I've done is I brought him in here and I am gonna be letting you guys follow along um, as it grows up, goes into the gristless and becomes a, a butterfly. So all of that is to say, of course, if you find a monarch egg in the wild, you should definitely be leaving it there. I'm doing this for educational purposes to share with all of you guys. So hopefully that'll scratch that itch for you. And when you find an egg, you can just leave it there and then hop on social media and see what we are up to with our little guy. I am just gonna keep one. He doesn't really need a buddy. He'll be just fine. I keep saying he, it could be a she as well. We won't know of course, until it comes out of the chrysalis. But for now I've taken to calling him Ike because he is in an Ikea brand <laughs> Tupperware. I guess maybe it could be a Kiki when they close, but for right now, this is little Ike, the caterpillar in there. So what we can expect to see over the next two weeks is that a lot of this milkweed that I've put in here will be gone. It'll be gobbled up. There's already quite a significant chunk missing out of that middle leaf. You can see that's the leaf where the egg actually was. Eventually just little leaves are not gonna be enough to sustain him. So I'm gonna have to put vials in there with live milkweed. I do have a bigger container to move him to um, when he outgrows his lovely Tupperware condo. For now, this is really more than enough. There's no holes or anything for him to escape from, which is okay because I will open the top and check on him twice a day, usually once in the morning at once at night. Um, what I'm checking for is moisture. So if there's any moisture buildup that can lead to mold. So I open it twice a day, wipe down any moisture that I see forming on the sides or on the lid. You will sometimes get just some buildup and gunk and stuff on the paper towel. The paper towel I keep damp um, just to keep the leaves nice and fresh for right now. But I also will change the paper towel usually once a day. And I can't wait until he outgrows his home. It's hard to believe that this one day will not be enough for him, but eventually he is gonna need um, something bigger. So I do have a glass aquarium that should make a nice good home for him. If you want to learn more about the monarch butterfly, you can visit our website, naturenb.ca slash monarch to learn about all the different work that we do with the species in the province. And if you want to get some free swamp milkweed seeds so you can grow the only plant that monarch butterflies can eat right in your very own garden, you can head to naturenb.ca slash milkweed.